folks, Neil from Modo here, and today we'll be looking at one of the most common forms of power generation across the globe, combined cycle gas turbines or CCGTs. As the name implies, a portion of the power is generated by one or more gas turbines. Gas turbines work by compressing air, adding in gas like that used in your gas-fired boiler, combusting it and expanding it back through a turbine section. There are power plants that exist purely as a gas turbine. These are called open cycle gas turbines or OCGTs. Combined cycle gas turbines add another stage of power generation to improve the overall efficiency of the site. At the exhaust of a gas turbine, the gas still has a good amount of heat. We're talking hundreds of degrees Celsius. This excess energy can be extracted by passing the gas through a boiler, normally called a heat recovery steam generator, or HRSG. The HRSG boils water and raises steam, which is then passed through a steam turbine. After passing through the turbine, the steam is condensed and passes back through the cycle again. If you're looking for more information on how the technology works, a good place to start is looking at the Joule or Brayton cycle for gas turbine and the Rankin cycle for steam turbines. But how do these assets actually operate? For a long time, CCGTs have been one of the primary resources used by National Grid ESO for balancing the system, ramping up and down to support the shape of demand. With increasing renewable penetration, CCGTs have continued to take volume in the balancing mechanism, enabling the balancing of both energy and system actions. People often refer to the operation of CCGTs as two-shifting. We're seeing more and more of this mode of operation not being applicable as assets are forced to respond to a more dynamic system. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.